Hey there, howdy folks, T-Rev here, revving it up, fired up and excited, blessings to you. Happy Thursday, April 28th, 2022. Exciting times to be alive, there's a lot going on in the world, a lot to talk about. There's, uh, uh, seems like there's just an incredible amount of things going on, weird things going on in the world. Um, we could talk about a lot of the different things. Today, one of the things I want to talk about is the idea of attempting to mandate a shot or mandate a medical procedure that would be mandatory for everyone and how that affects freedom and our freedoms and the issues that go along with that. Whether or not it's a good idea to do the thing is not what we're debating. What we're debating is the idea of making that mandatory for everyone because if it becomes an issue of the government being able to say what i must put into my body then that begs the next question from where i'm standing as to who is the one that's in charge or has ownership over my body me or the government or whatever entity or organization if it's on a global scale, like let's say the World Health Organization makes it mandatory for all the nations to do something and they're the ones perpetrating it or whatever organization is perpetrating. The issue is who has ownership over me and my body? I think at a basic human level, uh, we ought to have propriety over our own body at a minimum. And so to make a medical procedure mandatory is a major violation of our freedoms and the best thing we can do how do we overcome that those of us that are of, of a mind of trying to preserve freedom is uh, uh, peaceful civil disobedience to an unrealistic mandate that goes against the core of our freedom the core of our being we all simply have to do is just refuse that's it's that simple we don't have to we don't have to take up arms we don't have to um be aggressive uh, we just need to be peaceful and say no god bless